Ever since Elon Musk bought Twitter, Dogecoin has been taking over the crypto space. It's rallied well over 200% over the last few days, and we've seen a lot of news also come out with altcoins like Cardano, potential partnerships between Cardano and Dogecoin, and many others. But while all of this is exciting, and we will cover it, this week is one of the most important weeks that we have seen in a month for the entire crypto market that we need to talk about because this is going to be a deciding factor as to is the market go on to rally for the remainder of 2022 or is it going to flop, fall back down to previous levels? So what we're seeing right now is that upcoming Federal Reserve meeting is taking place on Tuesday and Wednesday of this coming week, November 1st and November 2nd. And the important thing here is that the Federal Reserve has consistently been trying to bring down inflation and everyone is expecting a 75 basis point rate hike. But the one thing I would warn everyone about is that everyone was expecting a 75 basis point rate hike in this meeting, followed by a 50 basis point rate hike in the next meeting and slowly tapering off and the Federal Reserve seeing the impact on inflation. But I would just warn you guys that we have seen stock market, we have seen crypto go on to rally significantly over the last few days in about last week, and that could push the Federal Reserve and influence them into being a little bit more strict with their policies towards inflation. Because if markets are rallying, they have more of an incentive to simply say, look, markets are doing well. It's okay if we're a little bit tighter on inflation in the next few meetings. So I would just be very careful about that. When moving forward on November 1st and November 2nd, we will see a big rally or a big drop immediately following the announcement. So keep an eye on this event with Jerome Powell and the Federal Reserve on November 1st and November 2nd. I want to quickly interrupt today's video to bring you a word from our channel partner, Fairdesk. Fairdesk is one of our longest term sponsors on the channel and they are a cryptocurrency exchange that offers up to 125x leverage. This is the platform where I have currently been doing a lot of my leverage trading as of recently because they have a very simple and easy to use platform that really provides investors with access to the global crypto markets. Some of the features that I personally enjoy and use the most on Fairdesk are three things. First is that they have a simple mobile app with great charting features if you like technical analysis. The second is that they also offer leverage trading on dozens of the top trading cryptocurrencies. And the third is that they have easy access to short or long any of your favorite cryptos. If you sign up for Fairdesk today using the link in the description, you can get up to a $600 bonus when you deposit $100 or more. So if you're interested in trading crypto specifically with leverage, I definitely think you should check out Fairdesk. Remember, leverage trading is high risk, high reward, but I think this platform is definitely worth checking out. Anyways, let's get back to the program. But looking at a few things with Bitcoin, we have two important pieces of data that we need to talk about. First thing is that historically, coming into the month of November, November is a great month for Bitcoin. Ever since the inception of Bitcoin, there's only been three Novembers that have been in the red. And this is a good sign for us as investors, even though it's not a definitive. Yes, this month is going to be green as well. It's not a definitive answer, but looking at historical trends, historically, October is green. Everyone said this October wasn't going to be green but we're up around 7 to 10% in this October. Everyone said that September is historically red, but this one, we were going to see a rally. But look, again, we followed those historical trends. So while it's not a sure sign as to what's going to happen, it is something that we like to see that November is historically green, coupled with the fact that the Federal Reserve is having their upcoming meeting. Both of these catalysts could push the market significantly higher in November. And this makes me pretty excited as an investor. Now, last thing with Bitcoin before we get into things like Cardano, Dogecoin, and altcoins is that we have seen that a new Morgan Stanley report came out that shows that 78% of Bitcoin has not been used in transactions over the last six months. And this is a very bullish sign. I talked about this on Twitter the other day in depth, but according to this report from Morgan Stanley, they said that 78% of Bitcoin has not been used. 
And why this is important is that a lot of people I've seen have said, well, people aren't selling their Bitcoin because they're in the red. They don't want to lose money. They're waiting for prices to go back up. Then they're going to sell it. But from every single data point I've seen from everyone I've spoken to, people who are not selling their Bitcoin right now, who have not sold in the last six months, have no plans of selling it anytime soon. These are the people that are simply accumulating and holding it for long term. They aren't the people who have been looking to sell because they would have already sold already. That is what usually happens in the bear market. That is what I've been hearing from everyone. And that is what all the data is showing. So seeing that a record 78% of Bitcoin has not been used in transactions over the last six months simply shows me that the available supply on exchanges and available supply is going down. And as soon as we start to see a rally in the market, there's going to be a lower supply available for people to buy, a higher demand because people are going to start experiencing FOMO, and that's going to cause the market to rally significantly faster, cause it to squeeze higher. And this is going to be a very bullish event for investors who are already in the market. Now let's talk about what's been going on with Dogecoin and Cardano. So since Elon Musk bought Twitter, Dogecoin has been just taking over the crypto space. We've seen that Dogecoin has gone on to become one of the top 10 cryptocurrencies by market cap. Everyone's been talking about it in the media from CNBC to Coindesk everywhere. And what we're seeing right now is Charles Hoskinson, founder of Cardano, came out and says that now that Twitter is in the hands of Elon Musk, I see a real possibility that Doge will somehow merge with the platform. And this got a lot of people excited. And this is something that could have very positive impacts on Dogecoin's price, which we have already seen. The main reason why we have seen Dogecoin's price rally as of recently is because of Elon Musk buying Twitter and everyone hoping and thinking that he will integrate it into the platform. And we'll address that more in a minute. But then Charles Hoskinson goes on to say that he believes Car uh, Dogecoin should be a Cardano sidechain. He'd do the migration for free. He'll even add smart contracts in. He wants to help Doge. Dogecoin become a side chain for Cardano, and he is willing to do whatever it takes. So I posted this on Twitter, and I begin a lot of feedback. Dogecoin community says, we don't need Cardano. We have Elon Musk. That's all we need. Cardano community says, Dogecoin is just a joke. We don't really want to be a part of it, and they don't want it either. But the reality is, is if you look at crypto communities. Cardano has one of the strongest communities in the crypto space, and Dogecoin has one of the strongest communities in the crypto space. So seeing a potential partnership between both Dogecoin and Cardano, potentially making Dogecoin a sidechain of the Cardano ecosystem really would only create more value. It would allow for Dogecoin to have more utility than it already has, and it would allow Cardano to expand its community a little bit, get into the meme coin space, and open the door up to an entire new area of crypto that it probably wouldn't have gotten into otherwise. So both of these things, I think, I think this partnership could potentially happen. I don't think it's going to happen anytime soon. But even though both communities don't want any part of each other, I think it could have some real value and add some real value if we were to see a partnership like this form. So just keep an eye out on this. Let me know your thoughts in the comments. Do you think Dogecoin should become a Cardano sidechain? Do you think that is completely useless? What are your thoughts on that? Moving on, let's talk a little bit about what has happened with Dogecoin. So since Elon Musk bought Twitter, Dogecoin has now become the fifth largest crypto by market cap, excluding stable coins. If we're looking at coin market cap and we exclude stable coins, so we're not going to count USDT, USDC, or BUSD, you can see that Bitcoin is number one, Ethereum is number two, BNB is number three, XRP is number four, and Dogecoin is number five. Dogecoin has officially surpassed Cardano in terms of market cap. And you can see right now it has around a 16 to $17 billion market cap versus Cardano, which has around a $14 billion market cap. In addition to this, Dogecoin has been leading the crypto market up 104% over the last seven days, up 13% over the last 24 hours. So it has completely been leading the market all because of what is going on with Elon Musk buying Twitter. But the one thing I would say is, yes, things are exciting. Dogecoin got up to 15 cents per coin, a little bit higher than that yeah, the other day. But the one thing which I'm going to consistently tell you guys on Twitter, whether you like it or not, what I'm going to consistently keep saying is be very careful if you're buying into Dogecoin now at these prices, because Elon Musk could come out and say tomorrow that he doesn't want to use Dogecoin in Twitter, and we could see the price plummet. 
If he could come out tomorrow and say they will include it, and we could see a short little rally higher. But when we're talking about Elon Musk integrating crypto, I think it's inevitable that he will integrate crypto into Twitter. I think we'll see NFT integrations a little bit more, uh, crypto integration, crypto payments, all integrate into Twitter, but I don't think it's going to solely be Dogecoin. We've already seen Twitter come out with multiple announcements about NFTs, improving functionality with NFTs on tweets. We've seen them talk about crypto in the past. They have a tipping feature with crypto already. And I'm just saying that, yes, they might add Dogecoin as an option, but I don't think it's going to be the sole option. And it's not going to have as big of an impact as everyone is going to think. Um, in terms of actual transaction and throughput. Yes, it could cause a short-term rally, but just be careful when you're investing right now, when you do see these massive 100, 200% rallies in a matter of a couple days because they just as quickly come back down. And I'm not saying I'm bearish or I'm bullish on Dogecoin. I'm simply saying, be careful (laughs) because I don't want you guys losing your money, especially when you see a rally and you're trying to get involved and then you get caught at the top and you lose a lot of money. So let me know your thoughts on the overall market right now. There is a lot to be excited about between upcoming Federal Reserve meeting, November historically being a green month for crypto, and Charles Hoskinson and Cardano talking about potential Dogecoin partnerships.